are still talking about the minimum wage debacle, the outspoken Catholic priest, E.G. Kimbaka, has called for governors and members of the National Assembly to receive the proposed 62,000 naira minimum wage, echoing the demands of organized labor. The cleric's comments came in response to the recent nationwide strike by the NOC and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, over the federal government's failure to implement a new minimum wage. After disrupting essential services on June the 3rd, the labor groups agreed to suspend the strike for one week to allow further negotiations, which resumed on June the 6th and resulted in the 62,000 naira proposal. While well, speaking in an interview on Saturday, Mbaka said governors, senators, and members of the House of Representatives should also earn the 62,000 naira minimum wage. If we decide to give a labor people 60,000 naira or, or 62,000 naira, why not generalize it to a House Assembly members, to senatorial members, to uh, House Arrest members, to our governors? All of them are civil servants. Are they not? Yeah. So if all of them are civil servants, why are these people slaves? Have they come to serve who? Because like, we cannot imagine why somebody can be amassing billions and billions and billions, sitting allowance, newspaper allowance, wardrobe allowances, vehicle allowances, and what they call um, is it suffering allowances or what? Huh? Yeah. Suffering allowances. So the people that should have such allowance should be the poor masses in the villages. If a teacher, how much are they being paid? For those who are grooming our children for us, how much are they being paid? Our nurses, how much are they being paid? Our doctors, how much are they being paid? Let us be realistic. Our civil servants that wake up from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they wake up early and come back late. How much are they being paid? And look at the level of inflation in the country. How are we becoming sincere? They, all of us should know we are not sincere. So I am pleading with the government that a, a stitch in time can save nine. It's a matter of handling the bull by the horn, tactfully, but very, very speedy. Because if they are not careful, this crisis of a thing can be hijacked and nobody will know the repulse effect. If they succeed in doing that, everybody will be endangered. If the government now will go on strike, labor will say, don't come out. No vehicle will move. Nobody will serve patrol. In a separate interview, Senator Ned Oloko, who represents Delta North, proposed a wage of 100,000 Naira and provided his rationale. We need to do that addresses the myriad of problems. There are many problems in Nigeria, from the economy to the to security issues, you know, a minimum, uh, wage, a minimum wage and, and all that, you know. Uh, if you ask me, for example, minimum wage, I say, look, I think everybody deserves a rise. You know, even if it is a minimum, say, 100,000 naira, I would think is the ideal thing. Because, uh, look, what can 100,000 naira do for anybody? Tell me, how many bags of rice can they buy? How many... Uh, how many fuel tanks can that fill? Right, Maybe two times, uh, you know? So we have to be realistic. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.